Well, the stage is set for Prime Minister Modi's Mandya Dharwad visit in pole-bound Karnataka. He will be embarking on his sixth visit to the pole-bound state, unveiling and laying stones of development projects worth 16,000 crore rupees. Modi will dedicate and lay the foundation stones of key road projects in Mandya. After that, he will inaugurate and lay the foundation stones of development initiatives like the Hubli Dharwad Smart City Project, IIT Dharwad, and launch the world's largest railway platform. The Prime Minister will also inaugurate the 118-kilometer-long 10-lane Bengaluru-Mysuru Expressway section of National Highway No. 275. The expressway will reduce the travel time between Bengaluru and Mysuru from around 3 hours to about just 75 minutes, as well as connect tourist destinations of three different states. It was started during Narendra Modi ji time and it was... You know, it is inaugurated during Narendra Modi time. I also thank our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji for done such a wonderful job where we can travel in one and a half hours between Bangalore and Mysore. Sagai Raj is getting us more details on that story. The new expressway really, Sagai, is something that people in this region have been waiting for and it's going to just benefit not only Karnataka but other neighboring states as well in terms of connecting the tourist destinations, isn't it? Of course, but as it is the political season, electoral season, politics on this has begun. Definitely politics has been begun, the credit war has been begun, but uh, the people of Kadatka will be happy for this 118 kilometers of highway which will be inaugurated uh, uh, by uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Just to give a view of the highway, you can just see, I'll ask my VJ to pan around and show you, 8,478 crore rupees has been spent for uh, this particular highway and people who are very commuted on Bengaluru Mysuru Highway earlier will feel the difference when they come on this particular road because it not only connects Mysuru, it also connects Kerala, it also connects Uti Tamil Nadu and other places and which will also help to bloom uh, the tourism in the state of Karnataka as well as the other states as well because if you have to go to Uti, you have to take this particular road in Bengaluru. Especially people who have come from North India have to cross, cross through Mysore. They will visit Mysore and thereafter they will visit Uti. Now, the time has been reduced. Close to three to three and a half hours will be spent on the road just to reach Mysore. Now, you have to spend around 75 minutes to 80 minutes from Kingeri to Mysore. So, this is the gift for the people of Bengaluru and Karnataka, whoever is traveling and Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate this particular dream project in the state of Karnataka today. Absolutely. Sagai, I'm going to thank you for the moment for getting us all of those details. Sagai and I both were in fact uh, in the same college near Kengiri and that's the reason why we know the kind of advantages that this new expressway is really going to bring the people uh, of this region in terms of connectivity.